This project is very early, and if you're watching this, then you are early too. I highly recommend jumping in. Oh yeah, friends. We about to get a little high, and we about to go over a little project called the Baked Bees. But first, we gotta get baked to talk about some baked bees, if you know what I mean. So while I'm getting really high, why don't we check out this intro? You could try to play, but you're never gonna beat me. Look the other way, what I'm doing ain't easy. Bloody hands stain from the people who deceive me. Bloody hands break through the chains, go free me. Looking for change, looking for pain. Pulling a mob, pushing a train. I'll never stop, stick to a lane. Pick up the pieces right. and go rearrange. Like I said, we gotta get be really best, high. Best, we wanna talk about some baked bees. What's going on, friends? You know what it is. It's TJ, and this is another episode of THC and NFTs. And like I said, we're talking about baked bees. And these baked bees are for sure baked. All they care about is honey and weed. And honey is their token. And I'm going to tell you why this honey is so important in this video. But also, I want to announce that we're going to be giving away some whitelists for the baked bees. So if you want to uh, get involved in this project and, you know, mint, I'll make sure to stick around and check out how you can enter in this giveaway. So what do you say we dive right on in? So right here is the Baked Bees official Twitter. And in their bio it says, Building hives in the metaverse earns daily honey, rewards to mint land, new characters, and more. And as you can see, they got their Discord link and they got their website link. Uh, they're almost up to about 10,000 followers. <sighs> which is really impressive. They're, they're really blowing up really fast. I know it says they joined August 2021, but they were just laying in the wait for the right opportunity for them to announce their project. And if you scroll through their Twitter, you'll see that they announced their project, uh, I think March 4th it was. This is a, a, a really cool project and it's got some really cool art. And right now it looks like they got a really nice giveaway going on of a Raid Party NFT. It's actually worth a little over one ETH at the moment, which is pretty rad. So yeah, let's check out one of these little bad boys. You know, these guys are totally, totally my vibe. I mean, right? I, I could be a big V, don't you think? <laughs> but I'm really digging the art here. It's a, it's a pretty cool vibe. It's something that I fuck with for sure, being a stoner as I am. I think we need to look a little more <coughs> into the project. So we're gonna open up the Baked Bees <coughs> website. And as you can see, it's currently under construction, do not cross, but with this being a very minimalist website right now, I've seen worse uh, websites that have actually been launched, you know? And this at, at least has something and it looks, it's easy to navigate. That is a plus in my eyes. So let's go to their flight path. So here's their flight path and we'll zoom in on this so we can all see it. So their flight path is essentially their roadmap, just their little flip on the word. So we got a uh, phase uh, one, uh, 8,008 baked bees are minted on the Ethereum blockchain and they only want two things, weed and honey. Uh, phase two, honey madness begin. Baked bees are staked to earn honey rewards. Three, the remaining 2,412 bees are minted using honey and some stoner game theory. Four, 10,420 metaverse honeycombs will be minted using honey, one smoke spot for each baked bee. Five, baked bees' children are minted using honey, and since there are no bee child labor laws, they're staked to earn. Seven, bee democracy, the baked bees' community votes on who becomes their queen overlord. Eight, bear game. Nine, the baked bees begin development in the metaverse. 10, the devs keep going. 11, metaverse dispensary, question mark, question mark, question mark. I love all of this. Uh, we're gonna talk a little bit more on this, but that's that'd be really cool, you know, if, um, if they are able to create a metaverse dispensary. I know the possibilities are there, and right now it's just, I think it's just someone actually, you know, launching something like this and taking the risk. But besides that, let's go into this flight path. So we got the 8,000 bees that are mint, minted on the Ethereum blockchain. It looks like once we mint, we're going to be able to stake. It seems like staking is going to be a very important part of this project because the 
the remaining parts of this game, once you mint or this this NFT project, you're going to be using honey, and honey is what you're going to claim from staking. I like the fact that once I mint, I can stake, and if I stake enough, I will be able to uh, mint one of the last remaining bees, and you're not asking for more of my money. Now, a lot of projects do that. A lot of projects will drop, you know, mint phase one and X amount of ETH, la 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 la, and then they'll come out, you know, a couple months later when their roadmap isn't even completed yet, and they're asking us to to buy more. They're asking us to mint more. They drop another project, and they're like, you know, go mint, mint V2, and they haven't even completed their roadmap yet. That, that, that to me is insane. So the fact that I can mint more NFTs from baked bees by using honey is something I am very fascinated with. And I, I like the uh, involvement of, of their token in their game. So there'll be one honeycomb to every baked bee it looks like. Well, that's the amount of honeycombs that will be minted. It says one smoke spot for each baked bee. So possibly these honeycombs will be reserved for the holder and until you have enough, enough honey to claim, it'll just sit in reserve. Uh, we'll see how that goes. I love any type of a metaverse land that you know I acquire. And this is more of, a, a, more of another NFT, but it's something that I'm assuming is gonna create more staking. And then next we got the baked bees, which is awesome. You know, another thing to stake. Uh, we can keep them staked, I'm assuming, just for a long time. And then queens. Um, I'm curious to see queens are minted using honey. So that's another NFT that we'll be able to mint using honey. So a, a lot of this NFT essentially is based around its honey. Honey is going to be a very essential part of this project. And I'm real curious to see where it goes with the bear game. Because bears love honey. So it sounds like it might be a risk versus reward type game. Um, and I'm sure staking is also going to be implemented in the game as well. So we can dive a little deeper into the project and we'll go over here and check out their white paper. I'll also leave a link in the description of this video uh, for all these, for the white paper, for the uh, flight list, or, yeah, flight path, sorry, flight list, for the flight path, for the white paper discord. I'll leave a link for this website. I'll leave a link for their discord. I'll leave a link for all the important links I believe you'll need if you wanna uh, check out this project. And on top of me leaving links, when it comes time to mint, don't mint anywhere from official links. Make sure you mint through their official Twitter or their Discord. Do not come to my page and be like, oh, I remembered he posted a link and come click my link. Not saying my link will be a, a, a scam or a, a fish link. I don't ever recommend using anyone else's links but the official uh, site's links. So let's get into the white paper. Phase one, the beginning, initial character mint. There are four tiers of bees and the amount of honey earned is correlated to the rarity of the bee. So that means we are going to earn honey once staked depending on the, tier of the, the tiers of its rarity. So if you have a higher rare bee, it sounds like you'll be earning more honey and a lower rare bee will earn less honey. That, that seems like how that goes right there. There will be a total of 8,008 bees minted during the phase using ETH and once staked Selecting to unstake will start a 24 hour timer before it will unlock. You can skip the 24 hour lock timer by burning 24 hours worth of honey earnings. So it doesn't sound like there's a limit to the amount of time you can stake it or, you know, you can, I guess you can leave it staked for however long when you go to unstake. So say you staked for 10 days and you wanted to mint one of the queens or one of the uh, honeycombs or one of the uh, baby bees and you wanted to mint it that day and you didn't want to wait 24 hours, you could burn one day's worth of honey. And right here, down in the middle right here, looks like a, a breakdown of yields per day and the rarity and the amount of honey it, it, it's going to uh, yield. So staking during the first 69 hours of stake launch will yield a 50% increase in honey rewards. That, that, that's huge. Um, especially, you know, if you mint a, a uncommon, if you mint a rare or a mega rare, you know, you're you're getting what 45 honey uh, per day for the first 69 hours of stake launch. That's that's big because who knows 
what these babies will be minted at. Uh, right now, we also don't know what mint price is. That is TBA and mint date is TBA. But like I said, this project is very early. And if you're watching this, then you are early too. I highly recommend jumping in, doing your own research and seeing if you like it. Um, I'll tell you this much. I'm a big fan of their tokenomics in this game and the way they are staking their NFT and utilizing the tokens that you earn from staking. And they're already showing it in the white paper uh, how, and this looks efficient. This looks like this will work very well. So I'm very excited to, to see the rollout of the tokenomics and this how this project rolls out. Uh, so action, stake, result 60%, risk 1,000 honey. Unstake. Characters will unstake 24 hours after selecting unstake unless you use 24 hours worth of honey to unstake immediately. Unstaking will stop your passive honey earnings. Withdraw honey. 20% will be taxed and sent to the queen's wallet. Oh, so it sounds like the queen comes into play right here. So it might be beneficial, you know, maybe to hold off in the beginning, you know, stack that honey and mint that queen. Um, but let, let, let's see what, what else we got. Risk. If you don't withdraw, you can mint within the ecosystem tax free. Huh. So you can use your honey in their ecosystem without being taxed or sending any money to the queen. But if you if you decide to withdraw your honey and exchange it, 20% will be sent to the queen. That that is interesting. You know, I like the way you reward holders versus you know people who liquidate. Uh Either way, both is beneficial. Character Mint Part 2. The success of other bees has inspired some of the more respectable bees to start their own shop as well. These characters will be at a minimum uncommon and will have a higher chance of rarity than the original mint. The following 2,412 bees will be minted using honey tokens earned from staking. The mint will have a 90% chance of success with a 10% chance the honey will be lost. All lost honey will be moved to the queen's wallet. These bees will be minted in a reverse auction. Ooh, that's big. So again, again, we got queen coming into play. So the queen's going to be huge here. Uh, I want to get a queen. So let's look at the amount minted and the price minted. So... For the first one to 804 NFTs in the 2,412 collection, it's going to cost 400 honey. Then 804 to 1608 is going to cost 500 honey. And then the last will cost 600 honey. And But also remember, these NFTs are also going to have a, a, a higher rarity. Um, the, the rarity of these will be the minimum uncommon. So let's go back to uncommon. So uncommon is going to earn 20 honey per day. So if you're staking every day, that's 100 honey in five days. You know, so you, you got you got to do the math, you know. And I'm not sure if uh, Character Mint Part 2 will get the 69%, 69 hours of stake uh, yield launch. I, I don't think it would, but that would be cool if that's something that they add to that. I think that would be a really awesome feature. Like after mint out or after mint out of second phase, you know, there's another 69 hours of boost for just these numbers. So we got rarity. We got chance of minting and we got total supply. So 241 will fail. Ooh, who likes to gamble? Uh, for uncommon, you got a 75% chance of minting an uncommon. So, you know, it's 1800 uh, there's 1,809 NFTs that'll be uh, minted out there on Common. Uh, there'll be 591. That's a 24.5%. That'll be rare. And then the rec mega rare is 0.5%. So there's 12 mega rare. So, so 241 transactions will be sent to the queen's wallet. And we're, we're not even at a queen yet. So the queen right now is just building a hedge fund. She's, she's setting up her own... Uh, liquidity right here. She's got a nice little wallet. Boost staking earnings by minting land. So 10,420 honeycombs will be minted using honey token. Stake your character with a honeycomb, one per character to boost honey earnings. You have a 90% chance of a success and a 10% chance that the honey will be lost. All lost honey will be moved to the queen's wallet. What? Queen is... Cashing in. 
Your honeycombs will be used as your weed shop. There will be three tiers of shops, each with different earning boost. It'll cost a thousand honey to mint. What'd we say here? So if you got an ultra rare and you staked for five days, that's a hundred. So if you staked for 50 days, that's a thousand, a thousand honey and you'll be able to mint your own honeycomb. So we got a total fail supply of over a thousand Woo! Uh, uncommons. So there is no common here in the rarity of the honeycomb. There's only com uncommon, rare, and mega rare. You, you can only boost one honeycomb to one character. So if you bought multiple honeycombs and you only had one ca character, I guess the only reason why would be, I guess, if you would want to sell it later on down the road to someone else for hire. Um, other than that, it, it, w it doesn't make too much sense. But if you're buying multiple bees, it makes sense to stake all your bees, you know, and get these honeycombs because they're going to be a big boost. Action. So mint is 60%. Your honeycomb gets destroyed and you lose your honey and you honey you use to mint. Unstake. Increase your honey earnings by 50 to 70%. Risk none. Unstake. 20% will be taxed and sent to the queen's wallet. Earn less honey for future mints and games. Ooh. So if you're unstaked you can earn more honey but there'll be a 20 percent tax and you know that could be that could be you know there's also a risk of earning less honey for future mints and games so so i guess it, it you know it, it may pay off to gamble a little bit and you know stake and unstake every now and then and see if you can get away with you know racking it up faster but who knows that's that's gonna be you know for when rollout comes out who's staking earnings by minting a by minting children <laughs> 18,000 baked kiddos will be minted with honey. Bees don't have child labor laws, so the kids will go straight to work. Each kid will boost honey earnings by 20%. You have a 90% chance of success and a 10% chance of honey will be lost. This honey will be moved to a wallet for later game use. First time, the honey's not being moved to a queen's wallet. So the kiddos, this is what the amount of honey that they will earn per day common is two honey. Uncommon is four honey, rare is six honey. So your actions are stake and unstake. Um, for stake, yield honey tokens distributed every second. Uh, character temporarily locked. Unstaked characters will be unstaked 24 hours after selecting unstake unless you use 24 hours worth of honey to unstake. Unstaking will stop your passive honey. All right, now here's, here's, the, the, here's the juice. Here's the juice. Phase two, minting a queen. So 3,500 larvae will be minted using honey token. 3,500 syringes will be minted using honey token. 3,500 pollen pouches will be minted using honey token. Uh, lava, syringe, pollen, uh, pollen pack. So it looks like you got a chance of minting, uh, one out of three chance of minting, you know, any one of these. It's an equal supply. I'm not sure if it's gonna be mixed or if you're gonna be able to mint them individually or if it's gonna be a random mint. And you know, you may end up minting a bunch of honey syringes, but let's see, one of each larva syringe and pollen pack must be combined together to mint a queen. So yeah, so you do need all three. So I'm not sure if it's gonna be, you know, a random random mint or if they'll be individually minted at a time and you'll be able to uh, pick three. So we'll see how that rolls out, but you're gonna want all three if you wanna mint a queen. And then once you have all three of these combined to mint, uh, your chances of minting, at least there is no fail here. I don't see no fail and the queen getting all of the larva, syringe, and pollen packs. So you got a 50% chance of getting a common, a 28.5% chance of an uncommon, a 20.5% chance of a rare, and a 1% chance of a mega rare. Uh, there's only 30 in supply of the mega rare. Um, it'd be real nice to get one, but so next we got our action result and risks. Again, we got mint and combining parts. Mint, one out of three queen parts. You'll need all three queen parts to make a queen. Combining parts, get one of the four rarities of queens. Start earning that free daily honey, bruh. <laughs> bruh, earn that free honey, bruh. Because there's a lot of people going to be paying out the queen. Voting a queen. The 30 mega rares will have a community competition to be voted into the council of queens. 
Each child and parent NFT will receive one vote. The queen with the most with the five most votes will be upgraded to Council of Queens. Phase three, bear game. Stack that honey and stay tuned. All right, yeah, no, their uh, their roadmap sounds. I mean, their white paper sounds lit. They're all about the tokenomics of the game. Honey is going to be a big part of this NFT, and it makes a lot of sense. All right, let's take a little look at some of the art that uh, they actually sent me, because um, uh, Big Bees did reach out to me, and you know they asked me to make a video. They thought I would vibe with their project, and they were right. I definitely do vibe with their project. This is a project that I'm all about. I love supporting uh, my cannabis community. I love supporting uh, new creators in the space, and I love supporting people in my community. So I'm able to do all three here by creating videos like this for y'all. So let's check out, you know, what we got right here. He's got his vape pen, his honey OG, his lighter. He's ready to burn one, and he's got his tie dye back print. I'm digging. I'm digging the vibe. But there was one here that I was really vibing with. Uh, he's like, yeah. I'm gonna call him Bumble S. Thompson. You know, he, he is just vibing out. You know, he's, he's got his blunt, he's got his alien cush, the baked B shirt, feeling fresh with his bucket hat, that pink tie dye, the match the pink eyes, the pink lighter. This is a vibe for sure. I'm digging the art team. Y'all crushing it. We got a cool little like watercolor background. <laughs> Fuck wasps. You know, yeah, fuck them. Honey OG, he's got his little pipe. He's chilling, super, uh, eyeball super relaxed. Vibing the captain's hat. Oh, we got a little different color here in the in the back end. A little green on black. That's a vibe. I, I didn't see that before. Oh, homeboy got green on black too. Ooh, look at the swirls. Pineapple Express. Yeah, this art's dope. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm definitely digging the whole baked... The whole baked bees vibe. Your mom drinks my honey. <laughs> Got him. Yeah, you know, I'm all about this project. Right here is their Discord. Uh, the, the Discord, they only got 729 members right now. So if you hop over to their Discord, you're definitely still early. This project is still early. And I think this is going to be really fun. Um, I can't wait for this to launch. and. Who knows? We may end up with a weed metaverse at the end of out of all this too. So that'll just be icing on the whole cake. So like I was saying, Big B's really dope project, really vibing with the whole community and everything that they got going on on Twitter, their giveaways, their use of their tokenomics and the art. If you want to check out Big B's, make sure you check out the links in my description of my videos. So for the giveaway, I'm going to be giving away three whitelists on Twitter, three whitelists on YouTube, and I've already given away three whitelists to my Discord. And if you wanna join my Discord, cause my Discord gets to choose first, I give them access to everything first. Uh, I'll leave a link to my Discord in the description of this video as well. So for the YouTube video, all you gotta do is like my video, subscribe to my channel, and comment baked bees in the comments. You know, that lets me know you watched the video, you might have learned something and you want to get in. You know, you want a whitelist, you want a mint. For Twitter, I'll leave a, a tweet shortly after this video is posted. And all you got to do is head over to my Twitter and follow the instructions of the tweet that I post. Both the YouTube and Twitter giveaways will end on April 6th. So that is approximately a little more than two weeks. So until next time, my friends, stay baked, stay safe, and stay blessed. Peace out.